Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you what's in my bag today. So if you want to find out what is in my bag, then please keep watching. So the bag I'm going to be showing you today is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag in the medium size. I've had this bag for three years now and it's still in very good condition. And that's helped by not just using it every day and just picking and choosing when I want to use it. And it's usually on days where I need to carry a little bit more stuff or I'm going on a day trip or something like that. So I am home from university this weekend and I took this bag with me on the train. I haven't looked at the bag since. I got home two days ago and I think thought I would show you what's inside. So let's get started. Um, and this is the bag. And it's got my initials on it, which I love, E-A-Y. So the first thing I have in my bag is my purse. And this purse is my Mulberry one. Quick pros and cons of this purse. Pros being that it is very luxury. It's really nice, it's kind of like a classic and you can carry a lot inside. So I can show you, you've got lots of space for your cards and also you've got a separate compartment where you can put your coins, which is great. Also the cons of this purse is that it is very heavy and it's also easy to scratch. I have quite a few scratches on my purse, which really annoys me, but I guess that's just life. I think two and a half years old, so I've had this purse quite a long time as well. In my purse I just have quite a few cards, like my driver's license, my bank cards, student cards, and some other things like receipts and a bit of cash. So that is what weighs a lot in my handbag. And the next thing I have is this. And this is basically my personal training exercise sheet things that my personal trainer gives me so I have to fill them out and I just keep them in my bag if I'm going to the gym and I did go to the gym on Friday night before I got my train so this is why it's in here and it has all my workouts here so I can see what I've done and what I want to do that day. I have an umbrella as well. I always keep an umbrella in my handbag because you never know when it's going to rain especially when you live in the UK and a lot of the time it is raining or it's very miserable and it could rain so Always have an umbrella in your bag as it can be very handy and it will keep you dry. The next thing I have is this. You're probably thinking, what is that? Well, I have my iPod Shuffle in here and I think it's great to keep it in here as iPod Shuffles can be very small. Actually, they are very small and it's very easy to lose in your bag. And I also keep my earphones in here and it just kind of keeps it all together. So it's nice to have a little pouch thing for my iPod shuffle. And this is what I use in the gym. And the next thing I have is some Impulse. And this is in the Smell Secret Smile Raspberry and Gardenia. It's a body fragrance. It's quite nice. What you also need, or what I like to keep in my handbag, is a diary. And a diary will keep me always knowing what I need to be doing. So, I mean, I need to get in the habit of writing things down so I never forget what I'm doing. A diary is always handy in your handbag because you never know when you want a set date. And I have one of these brushes. This is a backcombing brush from Denman. This is very helpful if you want voluminous hair, which I always love voluminous hair. So this is an absolute necessity to have in my bag. And I have some body lotion as well. This I got free from Celebrity Cruises when I went on a cruise back in September. And this is really nice as it has vitamin E in the body lotion and it's great for a hand moisturizer. The next thing I have is a small makeup bag and this is from Clinique. And what I have in this bag is just very simple. I don't carry a lot of makeup with me. I just have some eyelash glue because I love wearing eyelashes and also an eyeliner. This is a black one to go over an eyelash band or something like that when I add some eyelash glue because sometimes you can, if you're a girl and you wear eyelashes, sometimes the corners come off and you need to fix it. So always have eyelash glue handy in your handbag. And then I have some eyelash curlers and some tweezers. So those are the only tools I carry actually in my handbag. And then I have some tissues 
these are great because you never know when you need some tissues so yeah and then next i have a battery charging thing and this is by anchor i got this from amazon it's really great you can have a full charge of your iphone or like say a samsung phone or whatever so you just plug it in and charge it up and I've got my little charger here. Always great when you're on a day trip or something and you use your phone quite a lot and you tend to run out of battery on your phone. So you can just charge it up and you'll never run out of battery. Well, you will run out eventually. And then I have antibacterial hand gel. So if say I wanna eat something like a snack, then I can always have some of this antibacterial hand gel and apply it to my hands so I'm always clean, I guess. <laughs> and then I have a pen and this is Commerce Bank because obviously sometimes I need to write things down, especially my diary. Then I have my keys. These are to my university room and apartment. So obviously that is needed. And then I have my Southern Railway. Actually, it's not Southern Railway. It's my Oyster card. And this is always useful when you're traveling around London. And then I have a mirror because sometimes I need to do my makeup or whatever. Just look in the mirror and Got some chewing gum, extra ice white is my favorite. And then I've got some oil control paper. I love this because I have oily skin. And this is great because I don't apply powder on top of my makeup because I find that's really just caking on my makeup. So I'd rather take one of these oil control papers, dab it on my face and get rid of that grease and I can look fresh again. And then I have my Kinch card and this is just to get me to university, especially when it's raining. I love to use this because I hate walking in the rain. In fact, I just don't really like walking in general. So this is handy. And then I have a perfume atomizer. And in this one, I have the Marc Jacobs Olola, which is a great smell and perfume atomizers in general are just fantastic because it means you don't have to carry a huge bottle of perfume which can be very heavy and the next thing is I always have a lipstick to top up my lipstick um, so whatever I'm wearing that day I always make sure to put it in my handbag so I can top up especially if you're eating food and stuff your lipstick tends to like wipe away you get it on your food you kind of eat your lipstick whatever and you need to reapply so your makeup looks fresh so you've always got this to apply it with and then I have my anytime fitness key fob I need this to get to the gym I've got access to every gym like in the world and then I have some dental floss because when you're eating, you never know when you get food stuck in between your teeth. And you just need to have a bit of dental floss to get rid of that piece of food instead of saving it for later, as people like to say it as a joke. But no, thank you. I'd rather get rid of it now. So yeah, dental floss is a must if you don't want to have food stuck in your teeth. And then I've got another pen because you can never have enough pens. And I have a little clip if I want to put back my hair, then great. And then I have some strawberry lip balm by The Body Shop because, I mean, keep your lips moisturised, why not? And then I've just got quite a few hair ties. And then I've just got a random pound there because sometimes I need to go to Tesco. And the worst thing is when you need to put a pound in those coin things to get a trolley. Oh, that really annoys me, especially when I don't have a pound. So that's why I keep it in here. So I know I don't use it when I get my purse out and pay. And that is it. My bag is empty. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing what is in my bag. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!